my name is Rumi and in today's video I would like to share my own experience with taking the SAFL level 2 exam and provide tips and strategies on how I passed the exam on the first shot. So I took the CFL level 2 exam approximately uh, two years ago and basically I was initially supposed to write it in 2020 but then the pandemic happened and it got postponed twice. And even though no one was happy with the pandemic and so forth, I was almost glad that it got postponed twice because it just gave me extra time to, to prepare. And I'm going to tell you how I prepared for the CFA Level 2 exam. So first and foremost, I basically, when I was um, getting ready to study for the CFA Level 2 exam, I actually spoke to several of my friends in the industry and I also spoke to several people that have the CFA designation. And one of, the, one of their tips was that as soon as you get uh, the results for the CFA Level 2, uh, for the CFA Level 1 exam, make sure to actually sit down right, right away to start studying the materials for Level 2. So I remember I got the exam for the CFA level uh, for the CFA level one exam, and I would say that approximately after a month, I actually started to sit down to to study the materials for the CFA level two. Um, I remember struggling a lot because I wasn't quite sure uh, where to start from. And I watched a couple of videos online. I also looked up on different forums and I think their suggested uh, order, uh, I followed their suggested order. And basically there were videos from IFT and I think Fintree where they were giving you some recommended, um, they were providing some recommended order to tackle each topic. And I remember following that. Like I remember they would tell you like, start with this topic uh, this month, allocate this much time and then follow, then go to the next one. And they were also providing uh, some tip on like which topics go uh, well together. So they were saying to study derivatives and fixed income together because they ha uh, have overlapping content. And so I followed their, um, I actually followed their their suggested uh, order for the topics. And I actually felt it was a very good way to actually tackle all the readings. Um, I basically, I would sit down, I would basically sit down each day after work, I would say four to five hours, and I would allocate double of the time during the weekend to actually go over the materials. So what I did is I actually went over the materials first for about three to four months and then I located the rest of the months uh, to actually do the practice and I remember that when I practiced the, the the problems when I practiced from different like sources I was actually having a lot of difficulty answering the questions and I think uh, because the CFA level two has really a lot of materials, but I think unlike CFA level one, where you can you know get away with like skipping a topic or you can just memorize uh, a formula with the CFA level two, you cannot do that. You really have to make sure that you're understanding inside out all the topics. And this is where I think the challenge with the CFA level two comes. That basically CFA level two, I would say is more like a, a deeper level of the CFA level one, meaning that you go over the same topics that you have done in the CFA level one but then you have to uh, go a little bit more in depth so for instance uh, you know how to calculate the equity return but they will tell you like where what are the components of the equity returns and then you have to know also the meanings behind all the numbers so I think that's where the challenge came from and so I actually sat down uh, to make sure that I understood the concept to the point that you want to make sure that you know the concept so well that you're able to explain this to like a five-year-old uh, kid and so what happened is I remember that I would practice and I would do a lot of mistakes, but I think I was able to learn more by doing the mistakes than just like answering the questions and being correct because I feel like the more mistakes I did the more I was able to understand better the concept and then what I did is that every time I was doing a mistake I would just go over the topic again and then I would like make sure that I understand the the concept and I did not read the curriculum so I, I never read the curriculum for uh, for level uh, for the CFA level 2 I actually uh, based my knowledge on the different um, on the different materials that I uh, that I bought from the uh, CFA um, 
approved providers. So I watched those videos and then I would watch videos on YouTube. I would read um, on different sources about the concept uh, because I was not uh, like I was not going to read the book. I just felt like the books uh, were, were big, they were massive. There was a lot of information. And I don't think that just by reading you actually absorb the concept. It's better that you actually like uh, find a different way of learning the material. So for me, it was mainly by watching uh, lectures, by watching YouTube content, and that's how I learned the materials. So every time I was struggling, every time I was stuck with the concept, I would actually go back to to reach uh, to read the information online, to understand the concept from other sources. If there were professors providing uh, materials or they were talking about that specific content, I would actually watch. I would actually watch their videos. Um, another thing is that the CFA uh, Institute actually recommends to allocate 300 or 350 hours to study for the CFA level 2. I totally disagree with that. I know that sometimes it's not about the quantity, um, it's uh, more about the quality. Um, but I know that for the CFA level 2, you need both. And I think it's more important that you actually put a lot of hours to go over the materials. And this is where I feel like I'm almost glad that the exam got postponed twice because um, because I don't think I would have been ready uh, for the first for the first time. Even though I put eight months to prepare for the exam, I actually did not feel that I was going to be ready. So I was glad that it was postponed because... Um, with the exam being postponed, I was able to like go over the materials, I was able to review the materials, I was able to redo the practice problems. And I remember that I didn't do the practice problem once, but I actually did them two to three times. And it, and I felt that the more I was doing them, uh, the more I was able to actually understand the material. And I think probably the practice part was the thing that really helped me the most. Uh, so I would say these are all my... Um, all my tips from my own experience. I did not buy any, um, I, I did use some third party providers, but I didn't buy anything extra. Um, I didn't read the third party providers book, but I actually just watched the video. And so that's how I studied. And I would say that the key to actually pass the CFA level two exam is to practice and to make sure that you understand each question, um, that you understand each topic uh, properly. And so with that said, uh, this concludes the end of the video. Please leave me a comment, um, like and share, and I will see you all next time. Bye bye.